Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and there is going to be Volkswagen cars in Forza Motorsport 7. So yesterday, Forza Motorsport, they put on their website some of the classic cars that are going to be in Forza Motorsport 7, and for 1967, Volkswagen Carmen gear is in the game so that means there's going to be more Volkswagens hopefully and probably because they won't just add one they will add stuff like the Golf hopefully imagine that the new Golf pretty nice we've also got stuff like the 1968 Dodge Dart Hemi Superstock which is amazing for drag racing and pretty OP online that's going to be definitely in the game we're just going to go over some cars that have been announced so far well they announced them a week ago but I'm not going to include those these are just the ones that are from the classics selection they've put on their website. We've got a 1965 Mini Cooper S, which is also amazing. Got a 1969 Nissan Fairlady Z432. Got the 1966 Nissan Silvia as well. We've got a 1968 Opal GT. Has there been an Opal in Forza? Yes, there has. There's an Opal in Forza Horizon 3. Yes, Opal. We've got more Volkswagens here. We've got the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, the 1963 Volkswagen Type 2 Deluxe, that's the camper van thing, I'm pretty sure. We've also got 1967 Volvo 123 GT. The 1945 Jeep Willys MB is also in the game. That is also a good wheelie build to do. It's also pretty fun. We've got 1968 Lancia Fulvia Coupe Rally 1.6 HF in the game as well. We've got the Ford Mustang Boss 302 from 1969. 1967 Ford Falcon XR GT. We've got 1944 Deluxe Coupe. We've got a Ford Deluxe 5 Window Coupe. That was the barn find from the Hot Wheels expansion on Forza Horizon 3, so that's alright, but it's in the game from the start on Forza Motorsport 7. We've got a Dodge Charger RT 1969, we've got a Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi from 1969 as well, and the 1968 Dodge Dart Hemi Superstock I've already mentioned. We've got the 1957 BMW iSetter 300 Export as well. I don't think in Forza Horizon 3 that BMW iSetter is the 300 Export. It could be, I might just have not noticed, but... There's BMW I set it in FH3, it's in Forza Motorsport 7 as well, that's also pretty cool. Got a 1959 BMW 507 in the game as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was in one of the DLC packs for Forza Horizon 3. Not too short on that though. We've also got, we've also got the 1968 Fiat Barth 595 SSC SSC. That's also a wheelie build and some fun stuff can go down on Forza Motorsport with that because... Just the physics, maybe the physics are a bit different, but on Forza Motorsport 6, you'd end up flying in that thing, literally in the air, don't know how. Doing about 20 barrel rolls as well. I've just realised I've not put any of these in order, I'm just going through the list, pointing out any of them. So yeah, it's pretty interesting how I've done it that way, yeah, I guess. We've got 1939 Mercedes-Benz W154 as well. So guys, this was a video just pointing out some of the cars that have been announced for the second week of Forza Motorsport 7. Like, this is the second week they've started announcing cars now. So, we got the classic ones today. I wonder what we get next week. Maybe hot hatches or something. But I'm pretty gassed that Volkswagen are in the game. I missed them in Forza Horizon 3. I really did. But yeah, these aren't my favourite type of cars in the game. I don't really use them too much. But hopefully next week we get some, some up-to-date stuff. Hot hatches, something like that. Maybe some supercars. I don't know. Stuff like that would be pretty cool as well. But thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new around here. And you can actually check out the entire list of cars on the Forza Motorsport website. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can go and check that out. But yeah, peace out.